Well, while I'm waiting for parts for that boat to still arrive, figured I'm going to make some changes <clears throat> on the shrimp rigger here. We have done multiple different passes with this boat, and we've achieved, I believe, a top speed of 75 miles an hour. Now, the motor that is currently in here is a Triple S 2960, and I believe it's like a 2220 kV or something very similar to that. And what we're going to be going in with is this right here, this TP motor. So I ordered this TP motor specially made, and let's see what this one is. Okay, so this is a 2220, and this one here is a 20, no, it is a, uh, sorry, this one is a 4220. And that one is a 4122 kV. I know it's weird, 4122 kV. That's what they listed it as when I purchased it. So we're going to go ahead and take it apart and go ahead and put this TP motor in it. Now, I've got a new prop here. I'm not really sure which one this is. I believe this is a 4016 detongued prop that actually worked really well. And if you look here um, at this prop box, now if anybody's interested, Robert Warden makes these. Um, I'll have a link to his email for prop boxes in this video's description. If you want one, check him out, send him an email. Uh, don't bug him. Uh, if you want one, they're roughly around 50 bucks. Depends on how many props you want in your box, stuff like that. So if you're interested in it send him an email if you don't have the money for it don't bug the man he just does it as a hobby but it really does organize a thousand dollars worth of props easily um this line down here on the bottom are my rigger props now i've never ran this one it's a badass prop it's octora but it's a 42 by 1.9 pitch three blade i think it's just really 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 too aggressive um but we may try it we may try it one day in the future but we start down here i've got a 38 16 a 40 16 and then this one here i believe it's a 15 15 and then this is the osc brass prop which is a 40 16 this is a detongued prop 41 17 and then the 42 19 and then i have a couple of other detongued props here that's a 44 16 46, 16, and then a Pranther, 215. And then those are just my regular Octor props. But this bottom row here is for my rigger. Those are the small props that we have for it. Now, the last time we had this out, I, I said that the rudder had been bent. I don't know if we can take a look down the side of the boat to get an understanding. See how the rudder's offset? It's literally sticking out. It took quite a spill and then I think it bent it right here. So that's what we need to do. We can't just honk it back because I think it ripped the rear transom out of the boat. So I'm going to go ahead now, work on taking the rudder out, get that bent back, take the motor out, get that all taken apart. I've got to get 5.5 millimeter bullets and solder them onto the TP motor because I no longer use 4 millimeter bullets. I use 5.5s. And ever since I switched to 5.5 millimeter bullets for the shrimp rigger, I've no longer had any heating issues as far as melting the little EC3 connectors. So I think the four mil connectors are probably where we're getting all the resistance and upping them to the 5.5s seem to be beneficial. So I'm gonna go ahead, get a little work done on this and I'll, uh, I'll show you as, as it uh, goes along. All right, I've got the rudder off, the collet out. And I've got the screws taken out of the motor right now. Go ahead and pull this thing out. Let's see just how easy it's going to come out. I think I had the coolant line doubled over. There we go. Not sure how easy this whole situation will be. Oh, not bad, not bad. Cool. Got a little rust on the end of that. I guess that's from the cable. That is one bad to the bone motor right there. I like that. Let's go ahead and pull the jacket off. Cool. 
So that's what it is. 2960, 41, 22 kV, 5.5 mil bullets. Now if we compare these two, set them side by side, nose to nose, and this, the TP is just slightly longer. I don't know if it's considered a uh, 64 or a 68. So let's go ahead and measure it. I don't, I'm just curious at this point. Uh, let's see what we get, nose to tail. 66, okay, 65.99. So I would say it's a 64 millimeter can if you take off the nose. Yeah. So the middle can is 61. And let's see what the middle of this can is if we take off the front and the rear. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is 56. I'm just literally just measuring the black part, not the silver end or the gold ends. Okay. All right, so we're about five mils longer, so yeah. I would say that's a 2964, 2965. Don't really know what they would list that at on their website. I know it's a strange size, like 64.5 or something like that. But all right, now I got to make sure the holes line up. That's the next thing I need to do. Okay. Hope to God if it's. Oh yeah, like a glove. Like a glove. All right, I'm going to take that TP decal off of it because I think that's going to impede me. Perfection. This thing is going to be sick. I'm going to go ahead, get my bullet connectors out. Uh, and if I have to change collets, I will. I've got brand new collets for this. This is the original one I had. I bought some for four millimeter shafts and some for eight millimeter shafts some for 130 cables 150 cables okay so we need male bullets we've got these that are used but I don't want to use those I want to use some brand new ones let's go ahead and pull out five brand new ones or three brand new ones 5.5 cool Next thing we got to do, work on soldering them up. All right, it is now the next day, and this is what I ended up having to do. So I've got my 5.5 bullets on here, I've got my cooling jacket on, and the wire, the motor wires are so long that they actually go way up in here. So I can't deal with so much excess. So I kind of curly cued them into a little pigtail. That's the only thing I can do besides like bending them. And I don't want to bend them into no hard angles. So I feel like a nice even sweep is kind of the thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing all put together. Get this back in there. Get it all mounted up. I've already got the rudder bent. And I already have a brand new trim tab or uh, turn fin. So we're going to take off my little homemade custom mini turn fin. And get it all put together. Okay, so I've got it completely put back together, and I went ahead and got the fly color programming card, and I turned down, oh no I didn't, I put my punch level on, let's see, I keep punch on two, and then we need to go to set timing, ooh yeah, see that's on 11.25, we need to go back to number one, which is zero degrees, because I believe that is a dewind motor. Okay, good to go. All right, all we gotta do is get the battery in it, and get it all put together, and get out to the pond before we run out of daylight. I've got about 20 minutes. We're good to go. I've got the strut as neutral as I can get it. I've got this big Chinese branded turn fin as neutral and as close to what I would consider my CG, right there on my middle finger, kind of balancing, and it's right on like the back edge of that maybe I don't know quarter of an inch from the back edge so we'll see if that works all right let's get outside 
Man, there's just so much crap. Oh man, this thing is so much faster. Okay, my heart is beating out of my chest. I need to do a cool down lap and let that motor cool down. Oh my god, that is insanely fast. Do a hit here. I think I picked up something on the rudder. I guess that's the turn fin that's preventing me from turning the other direction. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotta mess with my steering wheel. Okay, yeah. I had to do right way down. Which one? Am I? Okay, that was it. Power cut, or I got a voltage. All right, let's pull it apart here real quick. Bad. Yeah, look at all the gooey crap on there. Ah, oh, the pond is terrible. Ooh, look at that. That's gross. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I can feel the warmth, but it's not bad. So let's go ahead and pull the tape off and check the temps before we bring it inside that way we get uh, really accurate temp numbers okay let's see can we beat 70 we got 65 in this pond not bad not bad okay let's see what the temp is Ooh, yeah she's hot that's the wires wires are 150 degrees see the motor yeah motor cooling cans 102 Motor itself, 123. ESC, 135. And on this side of the ESC is 130. So, not bad, but yeah, the wires are kind of hot. 127 now. Yeah, they've cooled down since. Let's see the battery. Ooh. Batteries at 122 degrees. That's that's a wee bit hot, a wee bit hot. But I was really giving it giving it the soft. So 65, not bad. We'll try a smaller prop next time. I just left the prop on it because I was running out of daylight. But all right, let's go back inside.
Okay, we're back inside, and every time I do this, I'm gonna have to undo one of these wires because it's just, 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 just the way it is. We're gonna go ahead and pull out. I had the high voltage pack in there, you know, just cause. But it is slightly smaller than the HP pack, but no puffing, so that's a good sign. Right, let's go ahead and see what the voltage was. Okie dokie. 3.77, 3.76, that's right on the money, that's perfect. Can't complain about that. But yeah, I think this 4016 detongue prop, probably not the best for what we were doing. Um, but, uh, we'll definitely try it again, uh, in the future once we get the speed run pond and we'll take the turn fin off. But the turn fin really, really, like, enabled me from turning to the left. I understand it's designed to turn to the right. And it did really well turning to the right. But, um, yeah, it really slowed me down going left. I swear that thing is still, still crooked. Y'all notice that on camera. I can, I can see it on camera. If we were right there, I swear that thing sits offset just a little. And what I think it is, when I took the rudder off earlier, I think it's because the wood here in the back is is, is what it is. I need to go in there and maybe build that up or add some epoxy and then sand it flute, like smooth with like a sanding block to try to get that even again. But that's probably what it is. Since I moved it over, it's no longer on the flat part of the transom. It's actually riding on this piece here and this piece here and on this side they're not even so maybe I could put a spacer like a really really thin spacer over there and try to even that gap back out because that's what it looks like it looks like it's just this way a little bit and, and it's just cockeyed so maybe doing that will actually improve it so well guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here the TP motor did really well wires were a little hot but we were really throwing it to it that whole time on 4S with a high voltage pack, with a turn fin, with a big prop. So I really can't complain. The ESC had great temperatures. Motor overall had great temperatures. Just the wires being 150 kind of scared me, but uh, I'm glad that overall it did well. I was kind of a doofus. I didn't tape up the sides of this because I was so eager to get out. I did tape this all up, but I only had tape on this portion here and this portion here. So I had a little bit of water in here. of I've since soaked it out with a paper towel, but I need to get another one stuffed in there and get that all cleaned up. And um, I think one of these right there, I think I need to go back and put some more glue on it. Maybe maybe that has broken again. I don't know. Um, but with the kind of speeds that I'm reaching, this thing is under a lot of stress. A lot of stress. But really in love with these turn fins. Hopefully I don't lose this one as fast as I lost the other one. That was kind of disappointing. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, drop them in the comment section. Let me know what prop you would run with this uh, setup, this KV. It's a uh, 4220, something like that. Um, and uh, hopefully next time we'll take it out to the pond. And I'm going to get that rudder fixed. That's what I'm going to do once I turn the camera off. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you all at the pond later.